does buying a fair, a fair trade product make a difference over buying a non-fair trade product? Is it worth it? I agree with it, but I won't buy it because I just, I just don't like the taste. If you're not aware of fair trade and aware of like the benefits it has for the people that are actually making the cocoa, you're not going to go and buy it. If you've got a trolley full of fair trade stuff, you know it's going to be 10, 15 pounds more expensive than a trolley full of unfair trade mm -hmm. stuff. And that is, at the end of the day, you know, we're in a recession, it hits the wallet, you know, it's the wallet that counts. And is there any justification saying, well, yes, sweatshops give, it's better to have a job in a sweatshop than no job at all. It's better for them to be getting an income. But at the same time, when you think about it, to make clothes, like, it was what, like 10p or something. And like the way the um, prices are rising, like in Topshop, you can get like a blazer for 50 pounds. So from 10p to 50 pounds, what is actually, where is the money actually going? I would have thought that fair trade was actually singly for food, and that I didn't know that there was a system in place for clothes. There's so many clothes that are in fashion, I think, that, that are probably made in sweatshops. Uh, does that, uh, as young people, are we going to um, bypass those, those clothes that we like? Just you, because the you can do it in top shop because I know, but the thing is, like, you can buy a normal pair of leggings which are twelve pounds, or you can buy the fair trade leggings out of fair trade cotton which are eighteen pounds. Mm. So, like, as a student, I know which ones I would probably it's buy. Fifty percent more. It's difficult, isn't it? Because I think it is about changing attitudes and changing habits more than anything. Because people get into a habit of thinking, oh, well, I can go into, you know, Primark, I can go into a cheap shop, and I can buy a top for five pounds. Why should I pay more than that for something that I'll wear? you know, the same, and even though it's fair trade, and it's kind of having a, a sort of a sense of global conscience and really thinking, well, where's this come from? Fair trade is the best way for the general public to, to contribute to people who are, who are working hard and uh, right now not getting paid for it. Fair trade allows us to, allows us to help them to help themselves yeah. and generate their own income. Fair trade and promoting trade specifically is a really good way of helping developing countries to actually help themselves and to sort of nurture something that's sustainable. Uh, when I was in Ghana, um, we found out that the Western world were bringing like, the American long grain rice into Ghana, but they actually, like, the Ghanaians actually produced their own rice. But because of the quality of the products that are being shipped, everyone was buying um, like the American rice, and I thought that was quite unfair. I think they should just leave countries like that alone mm. and let them um, develop their own like mm. sources and stuff. Mm. So. I mean, it's, it's God thing about fair trade. Like if you know that somewhere, someone somewhere is being cheated, obviously you try and do your best to, from what you can to help solve or ease the situation. Um, we could be doing a lot more to help, but we decide not to. And it kind of sits, it doesn't sort of sit easy with our conscience, doesn't sort of sit easy with ourselves. The Bible's basically saying that, you know, we need to kind of fix up. And as you rightly said, if we know that there's um, an opportunity in order to better other communities with the little that we have, I've, I think we should definitely go for it. Yeah, I completely agree. I think God's all about justice. And I think if we live in a world, we do live in a world where there is injustice. And if there's injustice in trade, then it says in the Bible very clearly that, you know, give to the people who you know and can see are poorer and less well off than you. I think if there are countries who are struggling with trade and fair trade would be a way to help them out of that, then that's kind of a Christian duty almost. I think the church would have a bigger, it would have a bigger sort of presence in politics if it took its mind off of its image and more into actually helping people. We're spending billions and billions of pounds on, on defence and putting guys in space when actually there's people dying. I, I don't understand that. Do we know the real true value of products? Because now I'm starting to think that like what is something actually worth? It's My difficult, isn't it? Things are only really worth what people are willing to pay yeah. for them.